Now the final problem type is fill in the blank. This will provide a space for you to enter a response to the question. So here's an example, say the problem says identify the corresponding coefficient for each term in the chemical equation defined as such. So we have a chemical equation right there. We're given a list of coefficients. So we have blanks in front of each element within that chemical equation that we need to fill in with the coefficients that are defined for us. And to complete the problem, we're going to fill them in correctly and submit it. Now one important note here is this. You have to read all the data, you have to read all the instructions because I can see one getting really tripped up on the fact that the very last line of this problem says coefficients can be used more than once. Now I know if you look up at our chemical reaction, the correct answer, you don't see the coefficient four, but you see the coefficient three twice. I know many of us is, are going to want to jam each coefficient into the chemical equation thinking that if we don't have all of them there, then we don't have the correct answer. So it's important to read all the directions. That final line is actually going to save many if you actually read it, which tells you that you can use a coefficient more than once. Can you, can you, can you, can you.